Well, this time, ladies and gentlemen, is for the Australian featherweight title. All thanks to our sponsors, ProScreen Screen Printing. We meet the challenger first up. He fights out of the blue corner. He the scales last night at 66.2 kilos. His professional record stands at 10 fights, 8 victories. He trains under Kim Robinson and he fights out of Ringworks MMA in Adelaide, South Australia. Please welcome Miles Simpson. In a record at 65.6 kilos, his record stands at five fights and four victories. Twins and carry now at the Shinto New Green Gym. Fighting on the Gold Coast, please welcome Gareth the Kid Glass. We've got three five-year rounds of MMA action, eight class rules. Tom Churchill is our referee. Alrighty, we got the um sorry Dylan. <laughs> Top here. There you go. Jared, we got the um, Australian featherweight title. Yes, round one of the featherweight title. I'm very excited about this to watch Garrett Ross fight here. I've been doing some training with Garrett uh, in the lead up to this, and, and the kid is just something special to watch. He, he's technically proficient in all areas, and he's, uh, he's always been a, a kid I've watched here on the local circuit. Aptly named the kid too. If you have a look at him, he's uh, he looks young. Yeah, he looks about 12 years old. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. It's a great thing when you get old. Yeah. Not a good thing when you're 18 trying to get in the clubs up. Yeah, exactly. A little right elbow snucked over the top there by Miles Simpson. I don't even know if that's a word. Snucked, but I'm going to go with it. Yeah, Should be a word. Yeah, they're in here wrestling for position, trying to get cage control here. It's sort of 50 50 here. Simpson looks strong though. Yeah, he's sneaking that right elbow in there. That was a nice short elbow. You can use snuck too if you want. Yep, I'll claim it too. <laughs> This guy's just sort of filling each other out and trying to jostle for that position on that wall and it goes ah, to the ground, nice. He used Garris' momentum there and, and tossed him there to the ground. Beautiful move there by Simpson. He's now sitting in half guard. This is probably going to be Garrett's most difficult fight to date. He's only had five. Miles already uh, twice that number with ten fights. Yeah, this is a big step up for Garrett. Uh, but I, you know, I believe the kid's ready. Oh, Simpson there controlling on the ground. Big, short elbows there. He looks very strong, Miles. Garrett trying to work back to guard. He's sitting in half guard right now. Garrett really needs to watch that guillotine there when he comes under like that. He's trying to switch to a DAS. He needs oh. to be very careful here. Simpson switching to a DAS. He's just sneaking up on him bit by bit. Garrett's got the right idea. He's, he's, his defense, he's got the telephone. He's got his right hand to his right ear, which he's using, which is going to negate that DAS. And he's out, which is good, beautiful. Oh, good work. A few claps from the audience. A little bit hard to see sometimes when you're uh, sitting out the back exactly all the intricacies of uh, what's going on on the floor. But that was some brilliant work from Garrett Gross to, um, to keep that attack at bay. We've got three five-minute rounds for the title fight. Garrett Gross, the current Australian champion. Simpson doing well. 
Played really well. Sitting there in half guard, controlling the position, not letting Garrett do a lot. And always the problem when you're in that bottom and you're in a sort of position like this, you tend to be using a lot more energy than the guy on top. And nice control from Miles Simpson. I'm thinking Simpson has a guillotine and he has that Dars in his, in his back pocket now. It seems to be a move he's favouring. And every time Garrett tries to get up there from up, from the half guard, he's, he's ready with that with that Dars and guillotine. So it's, it's, it's forcing Gloss to sort of pull back and go back to his back to get out of that position. This is a position that I don't think Gross has been in too many times. He's normally the uh, he's normally the aggressor, the one that's um, putting the pressure on, and he's on the receiving end of it here tonight for his defence of his Australian featherweight title. Simpson with good control there. Looks like he's trying to finish this first round. Trying to roll it nice and strong. Oh, that was a good round for Simpson. Great round for Simpson. One up in our books. Alright, Garrett really needs to push the action here. He cannot let Simpson dictate that pace again. Good work, good hit control here. Ah, nice short elbow there for Boss. Oh wow, excellent timing from Simpson. Straight down into side control here. He's knee riding and trying to advance the mount. Wow, he's a mount and he's starting to come away. Simpson's ground control is sick. Ah, Gross reverses, he gets on top. He's sitting in half guard here. Simpson just worked to get back up. Simpson's pressure is impressing me a lot. The, his ground game is nice. He's, uh, yeah, Simpson has a real strong ground game, real strong grappling game. And, and, and the big thing that I'm noticing about Simpson is his timing. His timing. Anytime Gross tries to do something, Simpson negates that with something. And just as you're saying that, he's negating the takedown from Garrett Gross. Yeah, Simpson has great defense. And also throws in a little attack while he's defending at the same time. So nice work from Miles Simpson. He's our challenger here tonight for the Australian featherweight title. But I know Gross has some great stand-up. So if I was him, I'd, be, I'd really try and break free here. Really test William uh, Simpson's on the feet. So. I think at the moment, Miles Simpson... Uh, He's playing to his game plan. Yeah, it seems like uh, Simpson's really bullying Gross here. Just being the bigger, the bigger athlete here. Simpson got Gross up here. That broke him free. Now this is where Gross needs to take command of this fight a little bit more. Just for a little bit of a distance. Start using his kicks, using his punches. Yeah, definitely. Simpson's very flat-footed when it comes to the stand-up, and Ross is... He just hasn't got his eye in tonight at the moment, Garrett Ross. Yeah, Simpson's been a, he's really been the bully in this fight, just coming forward. And throwing punches and getting to that clinch position where he wants to be, and he's just working. Working in that clinch position. 
Here comes a knee, yep. Oh, Grosh reverses. He responds in kind with the knee of his own. Another knee. I'd really like to see Gloss break away and free up and, and start striking a bit more. There we oh, go. Beautiful elbow, short elbow. elbow, left hook. Beautiful combination there from Gloss. Ah, it's beautiful. Looks like he's set, yep, setting up the double leg. Single leg he gets. I'd like him to keep it on his feet. I'd like Ross to really keep his distance because Simpson. Is and he doesn't need uh, to play Simpson at the um, at the bully game. He's not going to win that one. There we go. This is what I like. Yes. This is what I like. Ah, uh, beautiful takedown there for Gross. Sitting in half guard. He's in a good position now because he's got Simpson's back up against the cage, and Gross is just sitting there in half guard. So Simpson really has nowhere to go. Now it'll so be interesting to see the sort of pressure that Garrett Gross can apply from this sort of position. Yeah, Gross in a great position here. He's already postured up, so he should be striking. Oh wow, Miles Simpson gets to his feet quite easily. Garrett Gross has missed out on a nice opportunity there to um, impress the judges with some domination on the ground and outstanding back up again, which is from what we're seeing, Garrett Gross's domain, so we'll see if he can take advantage of it. Wow, well, Gross. Simpson's tough. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Simpson's still standing very flat footed, as Dylan Andrews pointed out a little bit earlier. No, oh, he caught him with a front <laughs> kick there. Right on the buzzer. Gonna have to do a little bit more than that though, I think. Here we go, third round. We need some real pressure here from Brass. If he wants to hold on to this title, he needs to keep that distance. He can't let Simpson bully him around like that and clinch and, and take him down and control him. Gross doing well here, moving, staying light on his feet. Yes, nice body kick there from Simpson. Yes, beautiful level change there. By Gross, he's on top now, sitting in half guard. He really needs to lock him down here, secure that position before he starts unloading with some punches. Nice short elbows there. Yeah, this is where Gross has to show some um, some domination. He's let him up though. Simpson gets back to his feet, reverses the position now. Reversal there, Gross gets his back off the cage and goes straight into a single leg. But Simpson's defense been this whole fight has, has been unbelievable. He's had immaculate defense, fantastic timing, good balance. He's, uh, his pressure on the ground has been great. Garrett working those knees. Garrett really needs to break away. And yeah. I think Garrett might need to finish. Yeah, I think if um, Garrett's got any chance of retaining his title, he does need to finish something in this round. Oh, a nice head kick there on the break from Simpson. He's starting to come in with that yeah. nice little left rip. Simpson with those kicks, those front kicks have been really effective for him. And although he's flat-footed, Dylan, he's, he's still getting some nice uh, timing on his kicks. Oh, yeah, definitely. And then, oh, <laughs> there's another one. He popped that out of nowhere. Did he just do the crane kick? <laughs> he did do the crane kick. That was kick. a crane kick. All hail Miyagi. Yes. The crane kick comes in very, very handy. Just ask Steven Seagal. 
There you go. Coming down to the dying uh, minutes of this third and final round, and at the moment it's looking like Miles Simpson is... Miles Simpson there gets another takedown. He's dominating, and just as you saw, another takedown. Yeah, and every time Miles Simpson's got him crossed down, he's, he's held him there. He's been strong enough to do that. He's never really looked in any danger at all tonight, Miles Simpson. But there's still a little, bit, uh, a little way to go, and as we know, anything can happen. MMA. Yeah, but if Gross wants to make something happen, he needs to get back to his feet here. He's trying to pull up, it looks like some type of rubber guard here. Yeah, look, I'd say Miles pretty much knows that he's, um, he's in the lead. He's not going to try anything too stupid. Yeah. Simpson moves to side control, gets, gets back to his feet, goes back on his feet. I think we might be seeing a changing of the guard here tonight in the Australian featherweight division. Oh, high kick from Simpson just misses. Garrett returns with a right hook. Garrett's realising that he needs to do something pretty special in these um, last few moments. He's moving, he's, he's weaving. Wow, Simpson with a Superman punch and manages to stop the takedown. Short punches in there. Short punches, short elbows, there's a couple of short knees that are going in. It's, it's all work for Miles Simpson, he hasn't stopped. Simpson there with that foot trip again. He's been using that the whole fight. Anytime Garrett tries to take his foot off the ground, Simpson uses that foot sweep. The final moments. Last team's not going to fight. Simpson go for the double leg. And he gets it. Gets a little trip there and a takedown. And he ends that fight in a nice positive way. And as I said, I think we could be seeing a changing of the title. Yeah. But we still have to go to the judges' scorecards and we'll see the result of the Australian featherweight title here at Eternal tonight. We have the judges' scorecards and all three judges score the fight 29 points to 28. All for the win. It's a unanimous decision. The new Australian featherweight champion.